part of the strategy for managing files on your computer is placing them where they are easily accessible and grouped with similar files. You can organize your files by moving or copying them. It's important to understand the difference between moving and copying. When you copy a file, a duplicate of the file is placed in a new location, while the original stays where it is. When you move a file, you remove it from its original location and place it in a new location. You have created a number of files that need to be organized, so you decide to place them in existing folders. We have Windows Explorer open and we can see the folders on the desktop. The file we're going to move is in the Microsoft Windows XP Level 1 Files folder. Let's view the contents of that folder by selecting it in the Folders list. Now we need to select the file we want to move, which is the Welcome file. We're going to place the file on the Windows clipboard by cutting the selected file. This command can be accessed from a menu. The commands on the Edit menu are now visible. We can use the Cut command to move items from one place to another, so let's select it. Now that we've removed the file from its original location, we need to choose the new location for the file. Let's put it in the Natasha's Files folder. We can view the contents of that folder by selecting it in the Folders list. Right now there aren't any items in this folder. We can start to place the file on the Windows clipboard into this folder by using the Edit menu again. The file now appears in the right pane, which indicates that we've successfully moved it. But what if we want to move more than one file at a time? It's easily done, but first we need to locate the files we want to move. Now that we can see what's in this folder, let's select the first file, which is Video Proposal. We can use the Control key to select more than one file. If we control click each additional file, we can select several non-consecutive files at one time. Let's select the finished proposal file in addition to the video proposal file. We've selected both files, so we can begin the process of moving them to a new location. We'll use the same command we used before, but this time let's right-click the files to select the command from the shortcut menu. We'll move these files to the Natasha's Files folder as well, so let's select that folder in the Folders list. To place these two files in the folder, we are going to open another shortcut menu. To ensure that the files are properly pasted, we'll need to right-click an empty area in the right pane. Let's open the shortcut menu in the middle of the pane. There are several ways to move files, which makes it easy to stay organized using Windows Explorer. And because you can move several items at one time, Windows allows you to manage your files and folders efficiently.